Hey, I am coming from my camper. Taylor's like looking around like, what are you doing? Um, I'm going to make some peach bread because I have all those Georgia peaches and I was gonna make peach crisp, but the people that were with made apple crisp last night. So I thought, oh, what else can I make? So I'm getting ready. We're already crammed in here, six people, okay? And everything's full because I'm doing all the lunches and breakfasts. Uh, for 20 people. So everything's just so much more fuller than it usually would be if we just um, were out and about, like at the fair, we can go buy stuff, we have a car, whatever. Okay, so I'm, and I'm sure this is what happens to you. I'm starting to do my thing and I see this water bottle with two sips in and I'm like, are you kidding me? Throw it away, get rid of it. Then I find a Coke Zero, seriously. That's what infuriates me. Then, this, nothing, nothing in it, just taking up room. We have no room to give, okay kids? No room to give, so quit. All right, I'm gonna be cut off a little bit. The recipe is for bread. It is gonna get hot in here because I have my oven on, but I had to turn my air off so you could hear me because it's like um, I didn't want to have all that. Um, I'm doubling the batch because I only have, I didn't bring my bread pans because like really I wasn't going to make bread, but whatever. Um, I'm just going to double and put it in a 9 by 13 pan and cross my fingers and hope for the best. I think it'll be fine. All right. So we need three fourths cup, well, let's read. In a medium bowl, which I'm using a big one. I don't have all my fancy stuff here. I have a lot of fancy stuff, but not a lot of fancy hey. stuff. I'm taping. Um... So go with her. She wants you to go with her. In a medium bowl, stir together the sugar, milk, oil, egg, and vanilla. Okay, so I have one and a half cups of sugar. One cup of milk. I mean, seriously, this is what I had to do because, like, that's all we have. Uh, one cup of oil. Ooh! Almost spilled. You never really want to spill stuff in the camper. Just because. I mean, at home, it's a little better. But in the camper, you really don't want to mess with stuff. Um, two large eggs. Okay, listen. I was making breakfast this morning. Oh, it's like playing Russian roulette. James got some of the eggs and he, hold on. I'll tell you the story while I'm stirring. Sugar, milk, oil, eggs, and vanilla. Now, I've told you about this vanilla. Watkins Clear Vanilla, best vanilla ever. It's not pure. It is artificially flavored. It's really, really good. And it's inexpensive. Get it at, um, hold on. How much do I need? Oh, two teaspoons. Okay, you get it at Menards. So cheap, I think it's two bucks if that, it's probably not, it's probably 98 cents. I'm not sure, it's the best. Okay, so go ahead and stir that together. I'll tell you about the story. So I'm making eggs, and I always put them in separate bowls when I'm making eggs, you know, like crack them, because I feel like if I was a little shorter, however, I mean, I'm pretty short. I don't know if I would move that back if it would help. Anyways, so I'm cracking eggs, and I'm, I'm doing good. I mean, I'm 10 for 12, and I go to the 11th one, and James had picked up eggs that the chickens were sitting on. Okay, so we told him that might be a problem. So I cracked the egg. Oh my gosh! <sighs> Did not want to experience that, I'll tell you that. I am a country girl just by being out here, but not really at heart. Um, it was disgusting. So I'm like, just take it, get, get it out of here. So he took it, whatever. And then I crack another one, same thing. Thomas took that one and I crack another one and they're like, just get rid of the eggs. Cause then I was into another dozen. I said, well, no, that one was okay. But anyways, crazy stuff happening. All right, so now add the dry ingredients, which are four cups of flour. I'll wait on that though. Um, four teaspoons of baking powder, a half teaspoon of salt, and four cups of flour. Okay, tried to have it all pre-done so that you did not have to sit here and wait in case I start sweating. Because it's 96 degrees here in Tennessee. 
or wherever. Eh, or whatever. There's a really nice water park here, though. All right, when you're not used to, like this is a bowl for salad, <laughs> not really for mixing. So the sides are shallow. Now it makes me think of that song. Okay. So you want to stir that up very carefully. Otherwise, you're going to have flour all over your camper. I feel like that thing, when I hit it, it went worse. Okay, let me check. better. Well, you can see me, but you can't see the stuff. So I'm just stirring this. I got my oven preheated to 350. So it's even extra hot in here. Woo! I'll turn the air on though when I'm cooking. Okay. It is all combined. All right. It says fold in four fold in four cups of diced peaches. Now the recipe calls for two. I'm doubling it. Two times two is four. Woohoo! That's what we're doing. So let's fold those bad boys in. These are those Georgia peaches. I diced them. That's what it said. Dice them up. Okay. I thought we could eat this for breakfast tomorrow. They're making some kind of dessert tonight. I just baked two of the cakes for it. So that should be yummy. I mean, who doesn't like peach bread, right? I've never had it, so I don't know. I'm just hoping we all like it. I mean, what's not to like? I looked at the recipe and I thought, mm, that sounds good. Use baking powder instead of soda. I know and that's weird that I would have it in my camper, but if you watch my videos, the pancake recipe I do calls for vanilla and baking soda, or baking powder. So, I already sprayed my pan, putting in one of those like catering pans or whatever. It's not quite nine by 13, but it'll be fine. <sighs> I'm wondering, Really, I'm not going to do it today because I don't have enough um, oven space. But if I could really make this into peach muffins, because those are like grab and go. All right. It's really like heavy. Almost like banana bread. So maybe it will be good. I just get to clean all this up. Yay! Yay! Actually, if we we have full hookup, so I don't care about cleaning it all up. It's fine. All right. I hope it doesn't rise too much. I'm thinking with the baking powder it makes it more airy, so it might rise. Well, and the kids are stinking slamming the door every five seconds. So I'll show you the cakes that I made. They dropped a little, but you can only do so much. So here is, if I can get a picture. Oh, see people who have, um, what are they called? Apartments. You can totally do this. I'm doing it in my camper. I mean, yes, our camper is kind of big, but still. Okay, I put it in there. Let me try to get a picture. Okay, I didn't get a good picture because it's practically falling out. I'm gonna put it in the oven. Oh, the oven's hot. And cook it for, bake it for, let's see, um, 55 to 60 minutes. Oh, great. Okay, so it's gonna be a while. We'll do 55 minutes because it seems like everything's taking longer. Okay, so this is a yellow cake. This isn't what I made. This is what I made earlier. But can you see kind of how uneven it is? 
and how it fell a little bit because it'll still taste good and all but because the kids were slamming the door slamming the door slamming the door so i had to make two of them she's making some type of trifle tonight and so i'm sure it's gonna be good all right i'm gonna pause it we're baking and i will see you in a few okay so the glaze for the peach bread i can't remember what i was making calls for two cups of which i'm probably just going to do the regular recipe on that even though i doubled the other one i think it'll be fine um two cups of powdered sugar well i was not going to make frosting so i did not have i'm thinking i don't have it because i this is the first time we went camping this summer um so i'm gonna try i thought well i had heard the powdered sugar is just sugar powdery no um, i'm gonna put it in my vitamix i'm gonna put one i'm wondering if i should only put one anyways it doesn't matter i have time so i'm gonna put two all right may not need it all this may be a colossal mess i don't know i'm hope i don't want it to go anywhere because i don't want to mess with that okay so the vitamix from Costco. Let's see if it makes powdered sugar. By crossing my fingers that I don't blow any circuits. I'm checking my thing. I turned off the air, so it should be good. Okay. I'm a little nervous. Um, let's just see. It may, may not. We'll see. <laughs> a little more but look you see it I'm gonna do a little more just to see no <laughs> either I should have stopped or it's okay I don't know we don't know <laughs> a little warm because my Vitamix did I have it on soup setting no had it on high but the motor gets hot uh yay I don't have to call her I think we'll be good oh my gosh I'm so excited I'm sure you're excited too so if you have a Vitamix or a blender or, let me turn it off a uh whatever it's called I don't think, well, maybe even food processor. You can do this too. So, I said two cups. Now I put two cups in. I feel like this is just going to go everywhere. What to do, what to do. That's the thing, you don't really want all this in your camper all over. You just don't. I am so excited about, I don't remember where I read it that powdered sugar was just powdered sugar and that you can make it out of granulated sugar and i was like whatever not gonna happen not gonna work but it does and i even feel like it's even more homemade now since i made it at home okay so i'm gonna pour it in this bowl measure it out. Oh, sheesh. Okay. I'm going to wash that out. 
the phone got <laughs> powdered sugar on it and it has my recipe on it. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, so if you can see it, that is awesome. I am so excited. I think I took a picture. It sounds like it's gonna rain. All right, so two cups of granulated sugar makes about, let's see, well, let's just have this recipe down. Well, okay, so I need two cups. So I say it makes about three cups. So two cups makes three cups of powdered sugar. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. All right, so for the glaze, I am so excited. You don't realize how excited I am to have stumbled across this. Okay, I feel like, yay. All right, I have to do some more stuff, so I'm going to turn the thing off. I have to melt some butter. You guys don't wanna see all that. Okay, I melted the butter. So it says two tablespoons of melted butter and one third cup of finely diced peaches peeled and drained for any excess juice. Now, what I did was I used my, I have a little bit extra because that's sometimes what I do is extra. Um, can't help it, that's just who I am. Anyways, um, I used my chop and chopping store, chopper. I don't know what it's called. It's someone, the Pamper Chef thing. Um, and it made it perfect. And a half teaspoon of vanilla, my good, good, yum, yum vanilla. And then it says, well, it doesn't say, right? Because you know, phones can't talk. But one to two tablespoons of heavy cream or milk. Well, I'm going to see if we even need all that. We might. I would just like to eat the glaze. Mm. Okay, we don't need it. Now, this could be because I used extra pears. I mean, gosh, extra peaches. Or it could be because I really have the right... Shh. I can't really lock them up. They're in here. Um, they are another dog. I didn't have um, baking powder. But anyways, this is what it looks like, the glaze. That's going to go over the bread when it comes out. It looks good to me. Okay, it has been an hour and five minutes. It's what it took in the camper for the whole thing. Now, if you've experienced campage, camping, you will know that even when you're level, you're not really level. So you see that's not real level. It's okay though. Anyways, also, the recipe, as you will see it, calls for it to be flipped in 10 minutes. I'm not doing that because I did not make it in a loaf. I'm going to put it on my table. I already have my my glaze. And I'm just going to pour the glaze over. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. Ah! Okay, everything's falling. If you saw how I had this set up, you would laugh. Okay. Seriously, I have a bag of trail mix holding up the, because I didn't bring my thing because I was like, well, whatever. A bag of trail mix holding up my phone, and then it's in a lid so it doesn't flop forward. Anyways, so this is what the glaze looks like. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. And I am just going to pour it on there, and it might come out. I'm a little nervous here. Woo! Okay, hopefully it doesn't. All right, and I'm going to let it get down to the underneath. I'm gonna flip up that just a hair. Remember, don't say hair when you're cooking, but just a smidge. And I have one spot that doesn't have any glaze on it because it's a high part. These valleys down here. This looks so good. Now. Obviously, it's going to be an hour until it cools. So I will not be able to share how good it is or if it's good until later. We're going to be going over for dinner. We, camping, have had a wonderful treat 
of two chefs that practiced their skills in France and then owned a restaurant in Arizona, Surprise, Arizona. It was called La Bouche, well, I have something like that. Um, and so they're, they've been cooking dinners for us all week. Yum, yum, yum. They can cook, I'll tell you. And I'm picky, but it is good. So I'm doing breakfasts and lunches, and they have dinners covered. So anyways, um, I will get on later. Oh, I got to turn this off. My oven. And tell you how this is. It says refrigerate it. Which I don't know if I refrigerate it. I don't know. If you've seen my fridge, we have a big size fridge. But because I'm cooking for 20 people, it's full. I mean, it's jam packed full. The freezer's full, the refrigerator's full, we have an extra cooler outside, that's full. Um, so this might sit out. And I think it'll be okay because it's just peaches. You know, there's egg in the cake. I think it's gonna be okay sitting out. Now, if I start puking in three days, it was not good sitting out, but I think it'll be all right. Anyways, alrighty. Well, I'm gonna sign off. Greetings from the camper um, from Nashville Shores, Nashville, Tennessee. Everything's closed, they shut back down. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to see anything, but um, listen, remember your SPF or your uh, sunscreen. I put on 175, and so I'm doing okay. Like, I'm not burnt. Not really. It's 100. But um, even my arms. Because I wear the shirt, and I wear the skirt, and I wear the leggings. They have leggings now for bathing suits. Love them. You don't have to use as much um, sunscreen. So, I've been out in the sun two times um, yesterday and today. I'm not burnt. My, my family is. I told them to reapply. Jamie's not because I make sure he does. Um, Taylor thinks she knows better and so she's burnt. Um, and then the boys are burnt. And James is burnt. But anyways, I'm not. And anyways, I, I know they keep calling me Casper the Friendly Ghost or Wendy or whatever. But I told them when I'm 75 and I don't look like a football all wrinkled up. Hey. All right. So take care. Greetings from Nashville, Tennessee. And we'll talk to you later. Bye.